<laughs> Good morning. Today we are going to be doing a beginner total body strength routine. So let's just start by moving on this cold-ish but sunny morning. But like, I don't know, every day I feel like lately that it's been sunny, it also is windy. So it's kind of annoying, but I don't know. I feel like every Friday morning I give like a weather report now, but <laughs> uh, my guess is as good as any of theirs, honestly. Okay, deep breath in and out. Deep breath in and out. You can do a little marching in place. Again, do whatever you would like to do. Deep breath in and out. Deep breath in and out. Okay, let's start off with a nice bicep curl. So let's grab our dumbbells and let's do our countdown to really make sure we're doing it slow coming down. So what I mean by that is the we'll curl up and lower four, three, two, and one. All right, so elbows glued, palms facing forward. Standing up straight, we'll curl to the top, keep those wrists straight. Lower four, three, two, one. Good. Two, four, three, two, one. Three, four, three, two, one. Four, four, three, two, one. Good. Five, four, three, two, one, and try to make it smooth coming down, not super, one, two, three, four, all the way down, trying to do smooth all the way down, I know, easier said than done, but trying your best to go smoothly down, good, eight, four, three, two, one, nine, four, three, two, one, good, ten, Four, three, two, one. Last two. Four, three, two, one, and twelve. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, place those weights to the side. The next one's gonna be like a, I guess you could say a two and one. I'll show you. So we're going to be doing twelve um, glute kickbacks, then we're going to do go into 12 hamstring curls. So we're really gonna target the hamstrings and the glute muscle. So feel free to bring your foot down all the way when you're doing this, or you can try to leave this foot so it never touches the ground. Feel free to hold on to the wall. All right, here we go. Standing up tall, back, and again, as always, make sure you're not leaning forward. Staying up tall, squeeze that butt in the back. Four, five. Make sure that other leg is not locked in. That knee has a little, little bend in it. Good. 10, 11, and 12. Leave it up there and we'll curl. So trying to keep it elevated as you curl, or you can bring it down here and do the curl and tap your toe on the ground. You want to make it harder, keep that leg up. Good. You're going to feel it in the back of that leg and in your glute muscle. Good. Six, seven, good. Eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Okay. Give both legs a little shake. We'll do the same thing on the other side. All right, we'll start with our 12 kickbacks. One. Good. Squeeze at the top, staying up straight. Good. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Good. 10, 11, and 12. Hamstring curl, good, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
three, four, five, six, seven, good, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, give those legs a shake. I'm sure you felt that in your legs. We're gonna go back to our bicep curl again. Okay, so elbows glued, palms facing forward. We'll curl to the top and lower four, three, two, one. Good. Two, four, three, two, one. Three, four, three, two, one. Good. Four, four, three, two, one. Keep those wrists straight. Good. Four, three, two, one. Six, four, three, two, one. Seven, four, three, two, one, eight, four, three, two, one, good, nine, four, three, two, one, ten, four, three, two, one, last two, make them count, eleven, four, three, two, one, and twelve, four, three, two, one. Okay, great. You can put those to the side. We'll go back to our little combo exercise with the glute kickback and the hamstring curl. So, standing up tall, we'll do the kickback for 12, squeezing up the top, staying upright, little bend in that standing leg. Good. Five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, good, eleven, and twelve. Curling one, two, three, four, good, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, good. 11 and 12. Okay, great job. Give both legs a little shake and we'll switch over to the other side. All right, here we go. Glute kick back. One, two, three, good. Four, squeeze in the back. Five, six, seven, Eight, nine, good, ten, eleven, and twelve. Go into your curls. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, good, keep going. Eight, nine. 10, 11, and 12. All right, great job. Give those legs a shake. All right, our next one, we're gonna go into a tricep extension. So grabbing those dumbbells if you would like. Okay, so feet together, slight bend in the knee, hinging at the waist, weights at your hips, head wherever it feels comfortable. We're gonna extend back, and forward. So just moving from your elbow down. Good. Three. Four. Not going too fast. Five. Six. Good. Seven. Eight. Nine. Good. Ten. 11 and 12. All right, perfect. So we'll give the arms a rest for a second. 
and we're going to go into our squat so about hip distance feet about hip distance apart pretending as if you were about to sit on a chair make sure your knees and toes are facing forward and when you come down your knees are not going over your toes all right so we're going to do 12 of these going down as far as you feel comfortable good and let's nice and slow we're not going to hold or anything but we're just going to really go slower than usual so you're not necessarily holding at the bottom but pausing for a moment good check on those knees five keep breathing six good seven Eight, good, nine, ten, good, eleven, and final one, twelve. Okay, good. Give those legs a shake. We'll go back to the tricep extension. So feet together. Slight bend in the knee, hinging at the waist, head wherever it feels comfortable. Weights at your hips will extend back and forward slowly. Two, three, four, five, and six, seven. Good. Eight. Keep breathing. Nine. Ten. Eleven. And twelve. Okay. Awesome job. You can put those to the side. Let's go back to our squat. So feet hip distance apart, knees and toes facing forward. Pretend as if you are about to sit on a chair. Check on those knees, make sure they don't go over your toes and back up to the top. Two. So again, not pausing or not stopping at the bottom, but just pausing for a moment. Good. Check on those knees. Three. Good. Four. Five. Six. And seven, eight, nine, and ten, eleven, and last one, twelve. Okay, give those legs a little shake. All right, so our next one, we're going to work a little bit on the core, but also just work the whole body. So for this one, again, I'm gonna just not hold on to something because so you can see what I'm doing for a second, but feel free to hold on to something. We're gonna have our right toe pointed out, our right arm up, and then we're gonna go elbow towards the knee, little crunch on the side. So if that little crunch bothers you, you can stay upright and just let your arms and legs do the work. You're still going to be using your core by holding everything up. So optional, either a little crunch or just staying upright like this. Of course, the elbow and the knee probably will not touch, but that's okay. We're going to do 12 on each side. All right, here we go. One. Good. And again, feel free to hold on to something. Good. Three. Four. Good. Five. Six. Seven. Good. Eight. Awesome. Don't rush through. Good. Ten. Eleven. And twelve. Okay. Give everything a little shake. We'll do the other side. Toe pointed out, arm up in the air. Oops. And knee towards your elbow. Good. Two. 
three. Good. Four. Five. Good. Six. Seven. Eight. Awesome. No rushing through. Four more to go. Nine. Ten. Eleven. And twelve. Okay. Give everything a little shake. So for the next one, you can either do a shoulder press, or if that bothers your shoulder, you can do it without the dumbbells, or you can go back into, and I want you to do alternating bicep curls to just switch it up from what we did before. Or you can do the shoulder press, whatever feels more comfortable. All right, here we go. I always forget this wall is slanted when I do this. <laughs> All right, ready? Relax the neck, press up and down. Nice relaxed neck. Don't let those shoulders come up to your ears. Good. Three. Four. Five. Good. Six. Seven. Good. Eight. Keep breathing. Nine. Ten. Eleven. And twelve. Okay, perfect. Let's go back to that knee to elbow. All right, so toe pointed out to the side, arm up, elbow towards that knee, mini crunch optional. Good. You got this. We're more than halfway done. Make it count. Nice and slow. Good. Even if that means you do fewer, that's okay. Just really focusing on not rushing through. Good. Ooh, I hear the wind out there. Very windy. Six. No wind allowed. I don't want wind. Eight. Good. Nine. Good. Nice and slow. Ten. Eleven. And twelve. All right. Give everything a little shake. We'll switch to the other side. Toe pointed out. Arm up in the air, elbow towards the knee, optional mini crunch. And again, as always, feel free to hold on. Good. Three. Good. Four. Five. Good. Six. Keep breathing. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, go back to the shoulder press or optional, um, I mean, not optional, alternating bicep curls. <laughs> I guess optional it makes sense too. <laughs> All right, here we go. Neck relax, shoulders down. We'll press up and back down. Good. Two. Three. Four. Good. Five. Six. Good. Keep breathing. Seven. Eight, nine, good, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, you can put those weights to the side. Our last two things we're going to switch between are we're going to do 20 calf raises, an arm circuit, 20 calf raises again, and then another arm circuit. And then we'll be stretching. Okay, so let's, why don't we start with the calf raises to just let it run 
have a rest for a moment. So again, get that string attached to your head right up towards the ceiling and we'll do 20. Three, four, five, six. Good, make sure you're going up. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. All right, give those legs a little shake. For our first arm circuit, we're gonna just do something basic, circling forward, circling back, pulsing up, pulsing down. Then we'll do something a little different for the second one. So let me get my timer out here. All right, here we go. 20 seconds in each direction, circling forward in three, two, go. Again, nice and relaxed, just moving your arms, not your whole body. Keep breathing here. Good, awesome. Starts off pretty nice. Good. All right, we'll circle back in three, two, one. Then circling back. Good. Keep breathing again, just moving your arms. You might think you're just moving your arms, but you realize you're moving your shoulders and your upper body too. All right, we'll pulse up in three, two, one. Palms facing towards the ceiling, little pulses up. Keep breathing. Good. Doing great. Awesome. Arms are getting heavier and heavier. Let's see, we'll pulse down in three, two, one. Pulsing down, good. Keep breathing. Awesome, few more seconds, good. Three, two, one, okay. All right, we're gonna go back, do 20 calf raises and do a different arm circuit. All right, so string attach and right up towards the ceiling. Good, two, three, four, good, five, six. Again, doesn't matter how high you get up, just make sure you're going up and not forward with your hips. Good, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, good, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Okay, give those legs a shake. All right, for our final exercise and last arm circuit, we're going to do 90 degree pulse coming in the front, then we're going to pulse forward and pulse back. And then we're done. Well, we're going to stretch, but done with the exercise. All right, 90 degree pulse in three, two, one. Good. Again, just moving those arms. Relax the neck as best you can. Keep breathing. Good. Awesome. All right, we'll come in front of our chest in three, two, one, keeping that 90 degrees. Again, same with this one. It's easy to want to move the whole body because I always want to do that, but really trying to just move those arms. Good. Awesome. Keep breathing. Good. Palms facing forward in three, two, one. Palms forward, little pulses. Good. Awesome. Keep breathing. Good. Almost there. We're gonna pulse back for our last one in three, two, one. Palms facing back, little pulses. Keep breathing, we're almost there. 10 seconds. You got this. Good. Three, two, one. Okay. Great job. Stop the timer here.
And let's do a little stretch routine. Again, feel free to repeat these a second time or check out our longer stretch video. So let's just start with bringing our arm across and just stretching out our arm. As always, just do whatever feels comfortable. These stretches should not be painful. Good. Keep breathing through all these stretches. Good. All right, switching arms. Bring the other one across. Good. Good. Keep breathing. For the next one, we're going to bring our arm behind our back, grabbing onto the elbow. Keep breathing. Awesome. Switching arms. Good. Keep breathing. All right, let those arms go to the side. Roll the shoulders back. Deep breath. Good. Let's stretch those calf muscles again, either putting your foot against the wall or just putting your heel on the ground, toe pointed up, and reaching for that toe. Just stretching out the back of your leg and your calf muscle. Good. Like I always say, this is a good one to try to do every day or especially today after we just did not a ton of calf raises, but a few. Good. Other side, I don't know if I said that, <laughs> other side. Um, okay, now bring the legs apart, little bend in the knee, letting your whole body fall forward, releasing any tension from your neck and your back, grabbing onto your elbows if you would like. Keep breathing. We're going to slowly roll to the top. Deep breath in and out. Deep breath in and out. Let's do two more. Deep breath in and out. Last one. Big deep breath in and out okay awesome great job everyone mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.